What's going on guys? Welcome back to another LEGO video. And today I'm going to be showing you my knockoff LEGO Fantastic Four collection. So I bought the Sea Storm, Johnny Storm, and um, Mr. Fantastic, and the thing right here, all in one set. They were all f um, four in one set. So yeah, that was cool. And then I built my custom Herbie when I bought them. And then I also... Um, got Johnny Storm and a special character that I will be showing. He looks so cool. But um, I'll be showing him later in the video. Try guessing in the comics. Don't cheat. Go, don't go in forward in the video. Tell me who do you think this special character will be. I'll give you a hint. It's a Fantastic Four character. So first off, we have Mr. Fantastic. He comes with his own stand. It's one of these weird stands up top. One of these ones right here. But um, they all come with one of those like that. And then Johnny Storm gets his own extra big giant stand. Which is cool. So here is Mr. Fantastic. He comes with muscle detail. But they didn't put it in black. So they put it in very light blue. So you can barely see it on there. But it's really cool. All I wanted was my own um, torso. Hands and arms and legs. That's all I wanted. If the face were terrible, I didn't care. I just used Fischl, and I went on Instagram a couple days ago, and I saw somebody using um, the head from the new Superman from the um, thing, and that actually works really well. I think it would work better with Johnny Storm because, um, because, um, I think it would be work better for Johnny Storm because it has red eyes. And Johnny Storm does the flame on, so you get red eyes and then flame on. But I think it looks cool like that. He has the brown hair. He does. I'll show you what he looks like. Um, if you pull him out of the package, I'll show you what he looks like. Um, I have all the pieces here. I have a knockoff bin. I'll show you guys that. Um, but uh, maybe. Who knows? But here is what you pull out of the package. You pull a different stand, but this is what you pull out of the package. Yes, he has this weird face. It's super awkward and weird. And then the head is all dopey and weird. So that's why I decided to go for this head. And then he also has this really cool hair piece, but it doesn't fit on official characters as gray on the side. And a chainsaw. I guess he's going to be um, uh, going on Halloween with this thing and going, and all the trick-or-treaters or something. But yeah. There is that, and in my opinion, that's a weird thing. I did go online, um, it didn't come in the set, but I did go online and see that they came with the woody arms and legs, just the arms and legs too, for him. They were all stretched. Um, I think that's cool, but um, I have blue putty, so if I ever want to make him stretch, I put it in the middle, and then it'll be fine afterwards. So yeah, that is him, and then he also has some blue regular legs. I wish they came with black boots, but... It's okay. So next up, we have Sue Storm. I think I should add a stud to her shield because it was too it's too close to her. I think I should add a shield, um, another stud. But here she is. I'm removing it. It's basically a clear disc with a little um, thing that she holds it from. So here she is, and the printing on her is way better to see. As you see, these are the knockoff arms. So they're a bit loose. Um, I'd rather have loose than... Um, Stiff that you can't even move them. Um, so she has the Dorothy head. I think that worked really well. Another head that would actually work a bit well. I did sand off the other side. But it is the Scarlet Witch head. Somebody actually uses that in the stop motion video. And then she has the yellow hair. So I'll, And then she also has these um, cool legs. Which I'll show you what she came with in this um, thing. I did have to get rid of a couple pieces from her. Because they were a bit awkward. In... A bit weird, so yeah. Let me just show you um, what the character came with and what the people will be getting in the mail. A different stand, of course. But here she is. Here's what the knockoff version comes with, aka she has different legs, as you can see. These are much stiffer ones than the ones that I gave her. You can barely, barely move those legs. Those are really hard legs to move, as well as these. Are a bit easy to move. You can move them very fast as you want. And then the face is poorly made. So I decided to change the face. Which is what you're getting at this price. So she comes with um, a weird face. Where she looks like she has a pig snout. Because the lip is cut. And then she has this okay face. But it's just, it's just too weird. And She had lightning bolts. Um, I guess she's going to be the new um, Storm. 
from the X-Men. So yeah, I did not go with that. I decided to go for my regular version, which is the Dorothy head, which has a nice Sue look to her. And uh, the rest is cool too. Um, and then the legs are a bit loose, but um, I might find more. I've, I might find another stiffer legs. And if you want to see the middle, the inside and show with Reed, but she has the um, this type of torso, which you can actually stick a pole all the way through this torso, which is cool. Um, if you guys want to see the inside of Mr. Fantastic, it is the regular one, which I could tell that they were made by different brands because, um, A, um, with characters that you get online, um, you, um, you don't, you, they come with the body and then the legs all put together with the arms and the hands you have to attach and the head and hair you have to attach. This one, the arms, the legs both legs and then the hip joint and then the hands and the head and hair were all in the package so it looked um that's why the legs are a bit hard to move ah they're hard to move but yeah there is sue storm and if you want to see her other expression she has a word expression so that is my sue storm so she is a knockoff official so official knockoff or something <laughs> Next up is Johnny Storm, and he was the one that um, was like um, Reed Richards. Nothing basically happened to him. And we have the um, cool um, head in here. Um, he didn't come with that much stuff. He came with uh, a couple stuff, but it wasn't that much. But he comes with regular um, blue legs, um, blue arms, black hands, and then the Steve Roger head. And if you flip it around, it's the other good expression. His arms are a bit stiff, but they're not as stiff as um, one of the surprise characters, which I'm not going to be moving his arms. Um, but he has really cool torso printing. And um, the torso, arms, legs, and hands were all of, um, were, came all online. And when I first saw this, tell me in the comments below, who do you think this head looks like? Um, I'll, sh I'll tell you who I think this head looks like. But this is the what you get in the package. Um, I totally ditched this after two minutes of it. But this is the head, and then he comes with this um, knockoff flame piece, which I have way better ones if you saw over here. Um, but um, the head and the hair has the weirdest expression. I saw this. This one looks kind of maybe like Johnny Storm. Who knows? And then this one totally screams Loki. Who did, Does this look like Loki? If you add... I don't even know. If you add... One of the long hairs to him. It will look totally like um, Loki. Let me. I actually have a official pierced over here with this hair. But if you put this hair on, it looks like Loki. This looks like Loki. So if you get this, maybe you can make your own knockoff custom Loki. Who knows? Or maybe just buy regular Loki. So yeah, that's what you get. And I just decided di di to ditch the um, the total head and hair. Um, they do have the darker version of this one, but I think that this is better with the blonde. So there he is. Now this next character, I won't be um, moving the parts for him, but um, because some of them are hard to remove, some of them are easy. But we have the one and only Flame On. We have the Flame On version of Johnny Storm here. And I'm trying to get all these pieces locked in together. We have Johnny Storm. And, of course, he doesn't come with the Ghost Rider head. Slash the um, Firestorm head. He comes with his own orange hair. And he comes with this nice fire torso, with it, which is clear. This is my second clear minifigure. The first one that I have is actually in the front row right here. Um, it is um, Iceman, which this one's full clear. This one's not half clear, but it's pretty cool. I think I like the... Um, the weird um, hair that they used on him, which is the character from, I forget his name, but, oh, Sora from um, Kingdom of Hearts. Looks a lot like Sora's hair, but if you made him brown. And then it cool, has cool fire things. The one downside of him is his leg is really loose right here. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, his legs right here are a bit loose, which is a bit unfortunate. But what he comes with is he comes with these little cylinders at the bottom, which I won't be removing, but he comes with these cylinders on the bottom. He comes with two of them. One of them is stuck here to the power burst, but he comes with two of those, and then he also comes with his 
little orange thing right here. Uh, maybe you're supposed to stick stuff to it, but yeah, it comes with this. And then, yeah, it's kind of it. And then, but what I added to him was way better. I added the the um, regular power burst in orange, and then I I'd stick it to his hand. His hands are a bit hard to work with, but um, one of them is stiff and the other is not. Um, but yeah, I won't be moving, I won't be removing these pieces because Johnny Storm only turns into, like, flame on when he's in, oh yeah, here it is, yeah, there it is, his leg comes off very easily, which kind of sucks, but, um, it's okay because, um, his legs are going to be stuck together a lot, if he will hold his stupid thing, thank you very much. Um, and then he has his little orange things, which these cylinders at the bottom came with the knockoff, but then this came with Firestorm. These red cylinders came with him too, and then the legs came from the Avengers Tower set. Which, I know that because I just switched them today. But yeah, there is what he looks like from far away. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there he is. Next up, we're not gonna look at the big dude yet. We're gonna look at him last. But we have Herbie. And of course, out of all the ordinary, he has a leg to come off. And this is based off the Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Yes, I know some of the um, colors are inaccurate, but I can't help myself. I mean, um, some of the pieces that I have either are missing or something. But I do have one of these in white. He's actually saving one over here because I know that as soon as I... I'll find it one day, but I only have one. I don't have two, so I decided to use light gray. And then the arms come from portals, but I didn't know where that was. And then this piece is inverted. It's supposed to be white. This white piece, this black piece right here is supposed to be white, and then the white piece right here is supposed to be black. But everything else is um, cool. I used a black, blue disc, which I do have the Captain America circle. Um, Captain America um, from the space set. I do have those printed circles, but um, I don't think that looks cool on Herbie right here. And, of course, he does have some artic her, him, or her, I don't know. I think it's a her, but you can move his eyes because of this joint. You can move his head, her head, and then you can move both arms. And then these legs have broken lightsaber hilts, if you guys want to see um, the, the legs coming off. It has broken lightsaber hilts I cut off, and then I put them in, so it would be the right length. And did it for the other side, too, and put some blue cylinders, because you can't attach them to studs or anything. It would be flopping around everywhere. But that is Herbie. I think Herbie looks pretty cool, so now let's go into the big guy. And, of course, his leg comes off. His legs don't come off this easily. I think it is coming off because he's on camera or something. I don't know you do. But, um... Yeah, let's come out with the big dude. So here is the thing, and this is the coolest thing. Um, I've heard a lot of people said it. MGF used this for his Fantastic Four 2014 showcase. He used it as a base. You can tell by the bottom of his feet. He said that in his video. Anyway, um, I know that D Cool knocks, um, rips off people, but if you go online, man, they have four. Um, I think they have four versions of him. They have one where the stud pokes out of his head, and then they have one that is printed like the Hulk here, but just with printing all over him, the rock detailing, and then a different head that can swivel like a little grape on top. And then the rest is... Um, and then you have one that looks like an F NFL player. He has a human head with a uh, Lego body. I think that looked weird. But D. Cool probably does the best job, in my opinion, at him. I think they've also done, oh no, so far, but I think they did the future foundation of him, and then they also did the um, other one where he has brown pants. But he has the Hulk, I think that he's the Hulk base because of Heroic Brick Studios. He got one of these D cool things for his um, video. It's very light, as you can see, he um, is very easy to push over. Which he, you can wave him around everywhere like that. I think his face is cool. I think his face is really well done. And um, I need to test this out. And I haven't tested it out yet. But I wonder what it will look like. Yeah. Um, I um, I got Call Obsidian. And 
Let's see what he looks like with the thing on. Wow, he actually looks pretty cool. If you know where I'm getting to, um, I might make a video on him, but if you know where I'm getting to for with this, um, stay tuned. I'll give you a hint. I'm making a custom Fantastic Four villain. That you can totally make a minifigure, but sometimes in the comics, he's a big fig. So yeah, you can take his arms off. One of them, the one with the... Oh yeah, he does. He did come with this little blue thing. But you can barely see it as soon as you put the arm on. It covers the whole thing. I can tell that he's a blue base sometimes. Um, but he has cool feet. His feet are like the... Um, he does have, when you look at it um, straight on, it looks like it has regular feet, like flat feet. But it is the Hulk base, so it's the Hulk base. Um, um, it's the Hulk base that has the toes and everything. Um, they use that for the rip pants and everything. So I think it looks cool. He can move his hands, which one of the big figs can't. They're in place like weird ways. And um, Amazon, it says currently unavailable at this moment, but it said it came with the other bad thing. So there is my Fantastic Four customs. And if you guys stayed all the way to the end, you would know that our special character, it's not Galactus, it's not Dr. Doom, because Dr. Doom is a plain villain, no offense, but he came out in real life. It is the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer, I was going to get a gray one. He was gray with red eyes. I think that looks strange. I won't be playing with him because, of course, he's chrome. And his face, when you looked at it, uh, different people reviewed this. But if you look at it weird, it looks like his face is chipped. Which, that is totally not the thing. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> um, but if you remove his head and everything, it is um, silver. So it's silver painted. You can tell by the bottom. But I really do like how smooth it is. Let's see if you can see my background. You can kind of see the background. It's reflected, so you can kind of see... Um, you can see my hand, um, but you can you can see um, it's chrome plated. So of course his arms don't move as well; they're a bit stiff. And then his legs and then the head kind of work a bit well. Um, but he does have a really cool face. I wish it's a bit of a complaint because he's so cool. I wish they did what they did with the Lego game. They like traced his eyes in the silver head instead of putting white eyes. But overall. This thing is awesome. This thing is great. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. So um, time to do an update on my Lego Marvel collection. Um, I am expanding my X-Men. And then I am working on some X -Men, um, some Marvel villains. I split the teams up to Marvel and superheroes. But yeah, that is kind of it for the showcase. I will be, doing, I will be showing you guys the uh, Marvel collection that I'm working on. Right now, um, I put the pieces back, um, the knockoff pieces in the knockoff bin. But um, there's the Silver Surfer, and he did come with the stand. It was like this stand. But you know already, the Silver Surfer is already on a stand. I don't know why they need that, but it's smooth, very smooth on the bottom. But he looks so cool from far away. And I think um, if I ever wanted to play with him, I'd play with him like this. And his, sil and his surfboard's really cool, too. So yeah, that is the Fantastic Four, and um, hold on, don't go let yet. Please remember to hit the subscribe and like, and stay tuned for this right here. So I am working on my Marvel collection. As you can see, if I look at the side, we do have some customs. We have some customs here, and some of them I might do showcases on. Some of them I will not. Maybe I'll wait until a big showcase to do that. And some others, um, I did some... Customs. I'll do some updates on some custom. I have the Punisher here. I used the Orca torso for the last one, but now I use Lobo's torso. Squirrel Girl. Um, and then we have Thor, Cosmo the Dog, Hawkeye, Iron Fist, Cloak and Dagger, Doctor Strange updated, um, Namor, Bucky Barnes, um, I Iron Man, Rocket Raccoon, the Chaka, T'Challa, Star Lord, Groot. Captain America, Wasp, Squirrel Girl, Umbaku, Ant-Man, Daredevil, and Bucky Cap, Adam Warlock, and some others. Um, but yeah, I will be showing that off in another showcase. And then we do have my 
Marvel super villains over here. One of them just fell off, but we have my Marvel super villains. As you see, I do need to upgrade. So we have Aim Agent, Aim Agent, Morbius, the Living Vampire, Claw, Dormammu, Artem Zola, Absorbing Man, Taskmaster, Baron Zemo, Winter Soldier, Kingpin, and Red Skull. Red Skull is updated from the Lego, so I use Kylo Ren's legs in this hat, police hat. That is based off my any superheroes today, but I did change some stuff. And Absorbing Man is probably my favorite. I'll show him off. And this arm is from Thor Ragnarok, by the way, if you guys ever want to make him. I know the torso isn't silver in half, but the, there's no torsos that come with silver. If you want it to come with the head that's half silver and half um, flesh, I would suggest using the old Two-Face um, head for Absorbing Man. Because it's half in the middle, um, just like Two-Face. And then I'll show you my X-Men collection. I wasn't thinking about showing you my X-Men collection. But I did remove some characters, and I will show you guys my X-Men um, so you might not be able to see these that well, but I will um, point to the ones. So we have Cyclops, Jean Grey, Wolverine, Iceman, Rogue, Professor X, um, Hank McCoy, The Beast, Hank McCoy and The Beast, um, 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 Toad, Havoc, Nightcrawler, Storm, um, Morph, Jubilee, Gambit, Colossus, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, um, Raven, Mis Raven and Mystique, Silox, Polaris, Sabretooth, Magneto, Pyro. Um, I did update my Pyro, by the way. Tell me if you like this. So, in the comments below, um, if you guys, if even anyone's watching this, in the comments below, tell me which one is better. Tell me if um, this torso from Nexo Knights or this torso from Firestorm is better. Tell me in the comments. I think this one's better. But um, I'll work with this for a couple days. But then we have um, then we have Cable. We have um, Omega Red, and then we have Archangel, and then we have the Blob up here, which I might. Um, I already did show you guys the Blob, but I did make Omega Red and some others. So yeah, that is my Marvel and DC um, update. But today is not based on any of those. Um, I might um, work on buying and updating some of these characters. Like, I might buy my own Punisher from eBay. I might also make, um, but later in time, later in time. Um, and then I will be buying Comics Vision because um, I am working on the comics. But that is the Marvel collection, like, kind of Marvel collection. Um, it's not, like, my whole Marvel collection i did get rid of some i did leave out some in characters like hulk all you guys know about hulk thanos and thanos yes i do have two thanoses um i do also have mighty micros but i took him apart but yeah there's thanos brothers <laughs> and um i will be um if the custom is good if it's good like real good like if i look at that i'm like oh my god that's daredevil i'll keep it maybe um <laughs> Um, but if it's like Punisher and I look at it, I'm like, uh, Punisher looks okay. Let's go on eBay, update the head and hair. I just do that. But, um, um, yeah, so that's what I might do. Iron Fist, definitely going to get mine off eBay, maybe. Um, and then some others, um, I will be, maybe, might be getting Groot. Um, not Groot, maybe Groot, yeah. And then, um... Drax, I'll be getting the old Hulk promotion character, um, the old Hulk, the one with the uh, minifigure version of the classic Hulk, um, it's the one with the purple pants and the Harry Potter, old Harry Potter hair, um, um, and I'll be standing off on the heads and using the body and then change the legs for Drax, the comic version, and then I um, might make my own classic more. So, it's, it's supposed to be a Fantastic Four video. And I did show you Call Obsidian, quotations, Call Obsidian, and um, the Silver Surfer right here. So I hope you guys liked today's video. You probably guys probably clicked off by now because it's so long. But anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked today's video. Please comment, subscribe, and notification bell. And I'll see you guys later in another maybe Marvel update. I might be showing you maybe Adam Warlock. Who knows? Okay, bye. <laughs>